Uh, no, it's not actually. I had the pleasure of playing in the Singapore Open. I can't recall how many times, yeah, but a couple times for sure in the past. Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, I had I'd met some friends. Uh, this goes back 10, 15 years. Geez, I don't recall. But once I played the Asian tour, and uh, I've seen town, and I've seen a bit of Singapore. Yeah, I enjoy it very much. You know, I enjoy Asian food. I enjoy it's, it's quite healthy, <laughs> and so yeah. I mean, I got no particular one dish, but I just enjoy the you know the cultural experience. Obviously. Every time we come from Europe, especially in this time of the year where it corresponds to the start of our winter, okay. so it's quite a, a drastic change from all aspects. I mean, weather, uh, you know, temperature-wise, and then obviously uh, vegetation-wise, the tropical here and uh, Asian culture and Singapore is, is just a beautiful city, so it's great. And, uh, hot and humid country as well as a matter of fact. Well, my native country is New Caledonia, which is a French territory in South Pacific. Mm -hmm. And then quickly my father got to work in Tahiti, French Polynesia, which is also a French territory in the, in the Pacific. And so this is where I started uh, my golf when I was 12. Kind of late, now Now all the kids have started three and four and dreaming to be tigers. And, and uh, But I started 12 and, and I moved from tennis to that and I, I caught the golf bug really quick and I was hooked from there on. Well, I had a very rough youth, you know. Uh, like I said, I was in the South Pacific and then I wanted to play more golf. I got good pretty quickly and... Uh, the teacher there, a Tahitian teacher who had friends in Hawaii and stuff, he knew of America, he had spent time there. And that was half away from France, half distance. So from being French Polynesia, California was not too far. So I had the joy of going to high school in Pebble Beach and then got the scholarship to play college golf for Stanford University. So it worked out great for me. Uh, since uh, probably about 14, uh, I mentioned uh, my Tahitian pro there. He kept receiving tapes from the from his friends in Hawaii. Uh, back then, it was still the good old VHS tape. Oh yeah. And he would receive of the PGA Tour, and uh, the treat after practice on Saturdays with his juniors would be he would invite us him. Uh, he would invite us to his house, and we would uh, have uh, you know the good the goodies uh, to eat and the uh, great PGA Tour to watch. And from there, I was that's what I want to do. So. Yeah, well, obviously, uh, my victory is uh, it's tough to separate them, but uh, it has to be the best, you know, uh, field tournament I've won was this year, actually. Mm -hmm. So the European Open, uh, it great. was a very strong field. So that has to be the, the proudest victory. I must say, um, uh, in a couple other moments, was the first one is always special, the Spanish Open in 2004. Yeah. And, uh, but also just as special was winning my very first professional tournament. Well, I had my amateur career, and because I had a good amateur career, I got an invite to the French PGA, mm -hmm. which was my first professional event, and I won it. So that's a proud moment, too. Fantastic course. On it, on, I uh, discovered this course yesterday, and honestly, I'm in awe. Really, I was, wow, what a beautiful, it's in great shape too. And what a spectacular layout, you know, the, all the holes by the water, and uh, the, off the tee of number three, what a great view from there. On top of that special Singapore port look with all the ships on, yeah. out in the sea, and, uh, and just Smart design, just great track. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I enjoy it. I look forward to uh, competing on it. Accuracy uh, off the tee, and because it's big grains, I know, you know, at the professional tournaments, they're always good at tucking away the pins, yeah. right? And uh, But because those greens are so big, I think you're going to have to favor greens and regulation, you know, and even if you don't approach the greens so much, the, the, the flag so much, just uh, 
a favor a two pot uh, from uh, further away because if you go into which is sometimes not far from the edge of the green but into this very difficult um, Singaporean grass I think I don't know if it's Kikuya or whatever it's very tough to come out you have very less control so stay away from that that's for sure I mean uh, I had my first son eight years ago to be honest it, it, it didn't change much other than just the sheer pleasure of you know of uh, having something more important than the game of golf in itself and then your career I think always does any athlete well mentally and then now that my kid without pushing him at all because now I just had a daughter but she's only four months now but my son uh, without pushing him at all it's really neat to see that he likes the game he's not very disciplined yet he's only eight and he just likes to have the fun I'm not gonna push him and he says, oh, I want to be a professional golfer like Daddy, you know, that's, that's, that sort of stuff is really great. And uh, it helps you go through the tough times, you know, for sure. Yeah. For next year, uh, yes, I'd like to win again. And uh, by winning this year, I had the pleasure of playing uh, some of the World Golf Championships. I've only played... Uh, I didn't get into any majors this year, so definitely my aim would be to higher my level so as to be able to enter um, those big time tournaments and uh, majors. Yeah, that was it's just a thrill, And uh, but in the short term, uh, uh, win again. Yeah.